Hi there gorgeous and this week's Unconditional Love Masculine Feminine reading is all about how we ride this huge energy that's here at the moment um, to create a united vision, a united realisation physically, mentally, spiritually with our loved one and what is going on this week in that regard. So check it out, loads of love, see you in a second, click below. Hi everybody and welcome to your weekly unconditional love reading. Today I just wanted to give a little kind of um, not update, I don't know, a little look into what's going on at the moment because there is, there has been over this past week, a massive surge of very, I don't really want to use the word positive energy, but big, like fun, um, like very, I'm going to say like energetic. If I can explain the feeling, if you feel into it, because that's what I do is just kind of feel into the movement, which is life. But it's like anticipatory, anticipation. It's really um, an excitement. But if you think about that energy, if you think about that as an energy, aside from a good or a bad um, thing that you are focusing upon in which to feel that, if that makes sense. If you focus upon just the energy of that, what that feels like, anticipation or excitement, then you can understand that there's like a lot of energy in it. It's, it's like a lot of potential energy is what it feels like. That doesn't mean that things aren't happening because it's only potential energy, but it feels like that. It feels like, ooh, like a wave of excitement. It's high vibe energy. This has been happening for the past week, but then for this new moon, which is kind of right now, kind of literally right now, um, it's all about endings and new beginnings so there's a lot of it might now feel a little bit um the consequence of that high vibe energy is actually that quite a lot of people have been feeling a little bit cut off or detached or sad or uh, um not connected to what they want and that's just basically that you have got to catch up with yourself in that amazing stuff. Because basically the highest narratives are being created, but it is up to us to realise them with our focus, with our appreciation, with our courage to be who we are. So that was just something I wanted to share for this week because I've been sharing it with a few people, with a few clients I've been seeing. I am available if you want help during this period because it's a big deal. And the Rumi Oracle message for this week from the Alana Fairchild Rumi Oracle. Just spread them all out like that. Oh, I'm going to go with this one. Is... Number 42, Dance of the Divine Feminine. So as usual, just take this as an opportunity to use this as a bit of a meditation, to just be still. Find this image absolutely intoxicating. This idea that it feels like there's this feminine movement, feminine figure here, but so much movement, as I mentioned in the masculine feminine reading this week, a huge amount of movement and energy. And the dance of the divine feminine actually really does... Um, encapsulate it for me so 
um, yes, it's like there's this light and almost this womb-like thing in that in the light there you can see almost embryonic and this light from her heart um but it's as though the divine feeds her and she feeds the divine there's this creation there's this movement there's this flow i mean you can really read into a lot you know when you really take a look at it and i want you to really look at this card and take a look at it because it's part of the reading the imagery is very, very important to me, to us. I mean, really. So yes, allow yourself to be taken in and connect to guidance, love. Take a deep breath. Allow the light to be breathed in and through you and out through you too. And let's read this number 42, Dance of the Divine Feminine. If a tree could move from one place to another, it would not suffer the pain of the sore or the oppressive wounds. If the sun and the moon stood still like rocks, they could not offer brilliance. How bitter the taste of water would be if the river stopped its flow, remaining still like seawater. When the seawater rises to become a cloud, it loses its bitterness and pours the rain of sweetness. I have given you only a few examples, but you can figure out the rest. Break away from the self and enter the kingdom of love. How can your feet bear to be still when the music is so lush and inviting? How can you hold yourself back from the tide of love when the horizon looms so vast and exciting? How can you not arch your back and respond with ecstasy to the lover's touch? saying in absolute submission, yes, more. You were made to move and grow, to love and flow. Even mountains change. Surrender the stodgy ways of the mind and become willing to dance to the great orchestrations of love. You may, you may feel unsettled, beloved, as though the ground beneath you is not so solid. You may touch it to see, is it moving? Of course, it is hurtling through the sky, spinning, tilted on its axis. It's amazing you aren't passed out on the floor in utter dizziness. Yet you stand there, imagining you have a choice of not moving. What funny foolishness. Let us laugh about it together. How can you even imagine it? Only through some misplaced fear. It is such a small craziness, really. You can cast it off, that small crazy fear. Let it return to the Earth Mother to become fertiliser for the far grander and more exciting insanity of divine love instead. Give up that tiny insanity in favour of the greater craziness of love. You cannot be unmoved by it. The rhythm of life will get you shaking your hips eventually. How could you not become entranced by the gleaming dance floor, shimming with possibility and invitation? This oracle comes to you with guidance. Your life may feel as though it is being tipped upside down. Perhaps you feel as though the great beloved, in a feisty mood, has grabbed your ankles, is holding you upside down and shaking you wildly until your skirt is over your head, or the pockets of your pants become freed of their contents, keys and wallet, dropping to the floor in disarray. Your hair is messy, your bottom is in the air, and your sense of orientation is nowhere to be found. Blood is rushing to your head, and goodness knows, you just want to be put down to have a moment to come to your senses. So the beloved will gift you that gift, but don't imagine it will last for too long. The great beloved esteems you capable of so much more than being sure-footed and sensible. 
you are capable of more whirling and stumbling whilst inspired by the music of the spheres. If you just accept the great invitation to dance, there won't be so much roughhousing going on. It won't be needed because your hair will always be in a mess, your blood will already be pumping, and you'll be sweating, laughing, smiling and dancing. The great beloved will be alive in you, which is all that grand seducer ever wanted in the first place, even with all the jokes and horseplay. Disarrayed and dishevelled by the divine beloved, you are able to break out of a too ordinary world. You will explore the delightful consequences of rocked boats and upset apple carts being swept away by love as you dare to dream bolder and wilder dreams for yourself and the world. There is bigger magic for you to weave this lifetime. Prosaic priorities inherited from the world are stuff and nonsense. It is the priorities of the heart that matter to you. If you are ever to right yourself whilst the beloved is tipping you upside down, like a soaring bird in most impressive aerial dynamics, it will be through establishing right priorities, the priorities of your own heart. So ask your heart what matters most and attend to that. Soon you'll be able to find your orientation, even if everything you have once held on to appears to be shimmering and insubstantial, a mere dance of light rather than solid ground. This will become so easy for you because your orientation will flow from within, from the heart, and no matter what shifts and change take place around you, your centre will remain strong. This is what the Beloved wants for you. Such peace and relief it shall bring to you. But perhaps some shaking about is required first, in case you are reluctant to give up some mainstays, unaware of how much they drain life away from your heart's centre. This oracle brings you this message also. There is something you are holding on to, a person, a place, a thing, a belief, a vision, and you need to let it go because it wants to grow. It may grow and change into something utterly different, or it may grow into exactly what you are imagining. Whichever outcome, growth is happening and you'll find you enjoy the way much more with greater flow and support and less bashing of your head against the proverbial brick wall if you can let it happen. Don't worry if it seems as though your world is coming to an end or you are losing something you once loved. This is just the shaking about of the great beloved to lead you into a deeper, sweeter dance of divine being and becoming. Put your focus into your heart and realise you are more ready than you think. Now shake those hips, stamp those feet, close your eyes and clap your hands. There, that's better already. Say the following aloud after me. What the caterpillar calls the end the master calls the butterfly. What the caterpillar calls the end, the master calls the butterfly. What the caterpillar calls the end, the master calls the butterfly. Lots and lots of love. You are incredible. Thank you for being you. See you next week.